Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be a truck driver. Yay! Where are you driving to? Well, first, we need to go to Moo's farm to pick up the delivery. And then, we'll drive it to Leo's house up the mountain. Have a fun trip. Oh, we will. Now, where's Toto? What have you got there, Toto? <gasps> Loon! <laughs> sure, I'll blow it up for you. Uh, but let's wait until we get back, because it might fly away in the truck. So, are you ready to get trucking? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! Oh, there you are, Dr. Pander. I've got Leo's order ready to go. You better hurry. It's a long drive. No worries, Moo. I'll have this loaded up in no time. Wait! Be careful. There are eggs in there. If they break before you get to Leo's house, they'll be useless. Oh, hey, maybe we should protect the eggs. Like what? Hmm. Moo, have you got any old pillows? Hmm? Even with all of these feathers, you'll still have to drive really carefully to make sure the eggs don't break. The road gets very bumpy further up the mountain. No worries, Moo. I'll be extra careful. Ah, what a perfect day for a drive, Toto. <laughs> on the road, right on track, with the load of eggs in the back, up the mountain and all the way back. Better hope those eggs don't crack. <laughs> uh, why is the truck shaking? I hope it's not going to shake the egg basket. Oh, and what's that noise? Uh, I gotta stop Poopa before the eggs get broken. Poopa, stop! Oh, hello, Dr. Panda. Poopa, turn off. Drill! I can't hear you! Wait! Let me turn off the drill! Hello, Dr. Panda! What brings you all the way up here? <laughs> I'm taking a basket full of eggs to Leo. Could you stop drilling until we've gone past? Sure! No problem! But watch out! The road really gets rocky further up the mountain. Okay, thanks! See you later, Hoopa! See ya! Ready, steady, drill! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. I think we hit a rock, Toto. Oh, phew, at least the eggs are okay. Flat! Yep, very flat, but no worries. I'll have it fixed in no time. First, we lift up the truck uh, using this. It's called a jack. Uh, uh, uh. And after that, we take the old tire off. Look, there's the hole. Ooh. But I can patch this up and it'll be good as new. <laughs> like a balloon. Balloon! Now I can put the tire on. Ah. And we can get going. All done. <laughs> I think we're past the hardest bit. We're almost there, Toto. There's the river. All we have to do is cross the bridge and drive down to Leo's place. Uh-oh. Look! Those tree trunks must have fallen from the bridge and floated over to Leo's. Hmm, the truck will never fit on the bridge now. I guess I'll just have to carry the eggs across instead. I'll be right back, Toto. Oh, oh no! Hmm. It's no 
no good, Toto. I can't go that way. I might break all the eggs. Ah, oh, how will I get them to Leo now? Hmm, maybe there's something in the truck we can use. Balloon! Oh, sorry, Toto. This is no time to play with your balloon. <gasps> huh? Hmm. Aha! I think I know how to get the eggs to Leo. the bridge to tell Leo his delivery is on its way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dr. Panda. I was wondering where my delivery had got to. Where has it got to? Well, we couldn't drive over the bridge, Leo, so we sent it by river. Ooh, good thinking, Dr. Panda. Any eggs broken? Nope. All of them are still perfect. Oh, Moo will be so happy to hear that. Hey, <laughs> good. Then it's time to break them. Huh? Well, I'm making scrambled eggs for lunch. Why don't you and Toto stay and eat with me? That sounds great. But where is Toto? <laughs> oh, I see. You want to go swimming. Yes. Well, that's an adventure for another day. First, we'll have lunch with Leo. Yay! See you next time, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you, what are you going, going to do today? today? Oh, hi, everyone. Well, I just had a few things delivered that might give you a clue. Some bowls and a frying pan. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? You're a chef. That's right! I'll be cooking lots of food Yay! right here in my diner. Whatever a customer wants to eat, I'll cook it. <laughs> hey, Toto, that looks cozy. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome to Diner's Dr. Panda. I'm Hooper, your waiter. What menu can I get from you today? Almost right, Hoopa. It's Welcome to Dr. Panda's Diner. And what can I get you from our menu today? Oh, okay. I'm Hooper, your waiter. What can I get you today? For my menu. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. I have to get some fresh ingredients from Moose Farm. Can you open up the diner while I'm gone? Sure thing, Dr. Panda. Leave it to me. There you go, Dr. Panda. Apples from my orchard and carrots, potatoes and onions from my field. Oh, thanks, Moo. It all looks very fresh. And we mustn't forget your eggs, of course. Oh, um, but I asked for two trays of eggs. Lots of my dishes contain eggs. I'm sorry, Dr. Pander. These are all the eggs I have. Oh, the chickens aren't happy. <laughs> oh, what's the trouble? I'm out of straw, and the chickens can't get comfortable. Only happy chickens lay eggs, Dr. Panda. Mm. Okay, thanks for all these other ingredients, Moo. I hope the new straw comes soon. <laughs> so do I, Dr. Panda. Welcome to Dr. Panda's Diner. I'm Waiter, your Hooper. Huh? I mean, I'm Hooper, your Waiter. What can I get you for my menu today? Uh, it says here that if I want something from the menu that you don't have, I get it all for free. <gasps> Is that true? Uh, yep. Oh, good. I have a big appetite. I'll start with some fried eggs, please. <laughs> Coming right up. Here's our first order, Dr. Panda. Ziggy's got a big appetite, and he wants a plate of fried eggs first. Hmm. Uh, Moo didn't have as many eggs as I'd hoped. Oh, okay. I'll ask Ziggy if he wants something else instead. 
Hopa, wait! I have enough eggs for this order, but please try and get him to order something without eggs next. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda! Oh, that was good. For the next round, I think I'll have... How about soup? Or spaghetti? Or a sandwich? Oh, we have very good sandwiches. Oh, a cheese and tomato sandwich. That makes my tummy rumble. Oh, mine too. Lovely fresh tomatoes and crumbly cheese. Sweet dressing. You know what would go really well with that? Some hard-boiled eggs. Uh. Great idea! That's what I'll have with two hard-boiled eggs. No. Oh. Nothing wrong, is there? No. Good choice, sir. Dr. Panda. Oh, good. You finally got Ziggy to order something without eggs. Yep. What did he order? Spaghetti, soup, pie, a salad? No, blueberry pancakes. Oh, but I need eggs to make the batter for the pancakes, and I'm all out of eggs. Oh, boy. Uh, excuse me. There isn't a problem with my order, is there? No. Problem? What problem? There's no problem, Ed. <laughs> there is a problem. A big problem. If Ziggy doesn't get what he wants, we have to give him his meal for free. Hmm. If only Moose Chickens could lay more eggs. Yee yeah. I have an idea. Bring the chickens to the diner. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Taking chickens across the city is not easy, Dr. Panda. Now, what exactly is your plan? Well, I know your chickens don't have straw, but I wonder if they might like this instead. <laughs> Oh, I think they like it. Great idea, Dr. Panda. <laughs> now we just have to wait. You know what happy chickens do. I found one! Excuse me, you're taking your time with those pancakes. They're coming right up, Ziggy. We've just had a fresh delivery of eggs. <gasps> wow! The food here really is fresh. After the pancakes, I think I'll have the pie with a side order of fresh eggs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving me a great idea, Toto. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> you look like a knight with that helmet on. But that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going to do today? Oh, hey there. Today, I'm a detective. I'm trying to solve a mystery. What mystery? The mystery of the missing Toto. <laughs> Let's see if I can find some clues. <gasps> Look, footprints. I must be on the right track. <laughs> Where could he be? <laughs> there you are. Are you ready to be a detective, Toto? Yeah! Excellent. 
Excellent. We'll bring our tablet so we can take photos and make notes. All we need now is a mystery to solve. Moo! Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no! Moo? What's the trouble? Oh, Dr. Pander, something terrible has happened. My carrots have gone missing. Oh, please come quick. No worries, Moo. Toto and I will solve your mystery. I picked my carrots this morning and now look. Hmm. Why would carrots suddenly disappear? I don't know. Are you sure you haven't eaten them for breakfast? I had eggs for breakfast. Eggs? Hmm. <gasps> Maybe someone yeah. took them. I don't think so. Who would have taken them? Someone who likes carrots, that's who. Oh, I know. June. She loves carrots. But June wouldn't just take them without asking. You know, Moo, sometimes things turn out to be quite different than they seem at first. Anything could have happened. Maybe the baskets have holes. No holes. Has anything else gone missing from the farm? I don't know. I was on my way to collect some apples when I noticed... Oh! <gasps> my apples! Moo! Not my apples, too! I was going to make my special apple pie! Are you sure there's no thief, Dr. Pander? Not likely. This thief would have to be really tall to reach all the way up there. Olette! She could reach up with her trunk. But Olette is no thief. She would never steal your apples. Now, nope, something else must have happened. So, Moo, when was the last time you saw the apples? Uh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Maybe the apples got blown off the tree by a storm. But there wasn't a storm. Okay. Um, oh, maybe you already collected the apples and just forgot? No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> look, look! Oh, what's this? It's a footprint. Well, whose footprint is it? Don't know yet, but I'm sure things aren't as they seem. <gasps> oh, my! Whoever this thief is, they must still be on the farm. First the carrots, then the apples. <gasps> Where else do you keep food? <gasps> the kitchen! Oh, at least my cupcakes are still here. I made them specially. They're my favourite. So, everything's still here, then. Oh, <gasps> my cupcakes! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! All my food gone right from under our very noses. This thief has a big appetite to want so much food. Someone like... Hooper! That's ridiculous, Moo. Well, it must have been Bip, then. He's fast, and he's certainly a bit of a rascal. Bip does like to mess around, but he's no thief. Sometimes things aren't what they seem at first, remember? Ah, a feather! Another clue! Let's look at what we know. First, there were the empty carrot baskets, then the strange footprints by the orchard, and now a feather in the kitchen. Hmm. No worries, Moo. We'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> Listen in the background. <laughs> we'll solve this mystery together. <laughs> Have you checked the chickens today, Moo? <gasps> My chickens! Oh, no! Oh, no! Someone's taken all my chickens! Remember that things can be very different from what they seem. Maybe the chickens went out for a stroll. I do hope they're all right. Oh, I know! We'll set a trap to find the thief. Ooh. Here's what we'll do. We'll tie the chocolate bar to the camera with string. And we'll get a picture of whoever takes the chocolate. All we have to do is wait. Oh, someone's here. Oh, they're too quick, Dr. Pander. We'll see about that. Oh, 
Is that my chickens? But why would my chickens want to steal my food? I feed them very well. I don't know. But there must be a good reason. Hmm. Huh? Ah! Moo, look! Oh, my! <laughs> <gasps> you done all this for me? My, my. Oh, my sweet darlings! Thank you! Uh, Moo, I think it's time you enjoyed the special treat the chickens made you. So, there was no thief after all. <laughs> you were right, Dr. Pander. Things can be very different from what they seem. Oh, thanks for helping me today. And you too, Toto. Mmm, yummy! Hold it right there, Toto! Hey! That's a very nice picture. You should be a photographer, Dr. Pander. <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Pander. Bye-bye. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Oh, hey, look at the cool uniform I'm wearing. Can you guess what job I'm doing today? Firefighter. You're a firefighter. That's right. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, Toto. <laughs> Fire! That's right, Toto. Firefighters put out fires. But we can also help when someone gets stuck. That's why I bring this axe. Dr. Panda, come down here. Coming, Olette. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> ah, hi, Olette. What's up? Hi, Dr. Panda. It's time for the ladder test. <gasps> we have to make sure it works properly for when there's an emergency. Okay, you get up the ladder and I'll operate the panel. No, you're Chief Ladder Firefighter. I'm Supervisor of Operations. Oh, what does that mean? It means you get up the ladder and I operate it. But you don't know which lever operates what. I'll work it out. Get up there. Okay. Hmm, let me see. <coughs> ah! Ah! No! The green one! Oops, sorry. Ah! Oh! Hmm, I wonder what the yellow one is for. <coughs> ah, right. What are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> okay, okay. Let me see. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. Um, wait, I got it now. Yep, the ladder works perfectly. We can check that off the list. I feel dizzy. Let's test the siren next. Hello, Hoopa, are you there? Dr. Panda, you have to help me. It's an emergency. I'm stuck. I can hardly see you, Hoopa. Where are you? I'm at home. I'm stuck inside my own house. Please come. Hang on, buddy. We're on our way. But we didn't test the siren yet. We'll do it on the way. Are you coming, Toto? Yay! <laughs> Tell us what happened, Hooper. I was building an extra tower on my house, but I forgot to make a door or any windows. It's really dark in here. No worries. We'll get you out. Hold on, Hoopa. I'm coming. I'll let the ladder. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Hang on, I have a visitor. Come on in. Oh, wait, there's no door. Step back, Hoopa. I have to break the wall with my axe. <laughs> Dr. Panda, am I glad to see you. Whoa, cool ladder. Thanks, guys. It was really dark up there.
Moo? What's the trouble? It's an emergency! No worries, we're on our way! Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. oh What's no! What's the emergency? Oh, oh, it's Bella, one of my chickens. She went all the way up this tree and now she's afraid to come back down. Have you tried calling for her? Oh. Bella! <laughs> come down! Nope, she can't hear me. Have you tried tempting her down with some food? Oh. Yoo-hoo! Bella! Look what I got here. A basket full of cupcakes. Mmm. Oh, mm. oh, so good. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work either. OK, that's it. We have to chop the tree down. There's no other way. <laughs> Wait! Halt! Stop! There is another way. Yes! Good idea! We can knock the tree over with the truck. Or we could use the ladder. Oh! Right. Ready? Uh-huh. Slow and steady now. Bella, no need to be afraid. You want to come down with me? Oh. Wow. Huh. You don't want to leave, do you? You want to enjoy the view. Dr. Pander, where's my chicken? She doesn't want to come down. Oh, no. Oh, no. That means this picnic is ruined. Hang on. Is that why you need her down? Yes! I've prepared this wonderful picnic for all of us. But we can't eat it while she's up there. Hey, you know, ladders aren't just for getting someone down. They can also take someone up. Hmm? Hi. Mind if we join you? Oh, oh. come on up, everyone. What a beautiful sunset. It sure is. Hey, good work on operating that ladder. Thanks, Dr. Panda. Ah, I think that was another job well done, Toto. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> yeah. You know, that ladder was actually a lot of fun. Hey, maybe we can make a ride out of it and start a carnival. What do you think? Yay! Well, that'll be an adventure for another day. See you next time! <laughs> Hi, Dr. Panda. What are, what are you going, going to do today? Hi, everyone. Can you guess what I am? A chef. Yes, but not just any chef. Pizza. Pizza. That's right, Toto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Yay! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Here are the vegetables for our pizza toppings. Where's Bip? He said he'd help. I'm sure he's on his way. Why don't you prepare the first pizza base, Olette? I'll start on the tomato sauce. Good idea, Dr. Panda. Uh, mm. oh. Oh. Hi, Hoopa. Hi, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order a mushroom special pizza, please. <laughs> we'll get right on it. Where'd you want it delivered? No, oh, I'm close, so I'll come by to pick it up. Okay, see you soon. <sighs> Alad, our first order's in. A mushroom special for Hoopa. Oh, this is hard. Does it look round enough, Dr. Panda? Oh, yep, looks round enough to me. Oh, I'll work on this side a little more. Hey, hey, what do you say? Who's ready to make a pizza today? Bip, you're late. Am I? So sorry. So, Dr. P, what do you want me to do? Well, um, Olette's working on the base. I'm making the tomato sauce. Maybe you could prepare the vegetables. On it, Dr. P. Done. Looking good, Olette. Step aside. Hop, hop, hop. 
Hop, 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 hop. Hop, hop. Perfecto. Really, Bip, you need to take this more seriously. What's wrong with a bit of fun? Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like to order two pizzas, please. The veggie feast and the mushroom special. One veggie feast and one mushroom special coming right up. You know our motto. Our pizzas are always tasty and always on time. Ooh, what if the pizzas are late? Do I get them for free? Oh, they won't be late. <laughs> then we have a deal. See you soon, Dr. Panda. And don't be late. <laughs> Two pizzas for Ziggy. And they have to be delivered on time. Then we'll have to move fast. That's what I'm good at. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm here for my pizza. Perfect timing, Hoopa. Let me slice it up for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Pizza perfection! Thanks for a great pizza. See you next time. Bye, Bye Hoopa. Okay, let's get Ziggy's pizzas ready for the oven. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Ziggy's pizzas. Uh. Oh, hi, Richie. Hello, Dr. Panda. I'd like a pizza, please. One with olives. Not green olives. I don't like them. Black olives. Precisely five of them. And some peppers. Green, not red, but they can't touch the olives. Also, I want four slices of tomato, but cut in half to go on top of the green peppers. Got it. Another pizza? Hmm, but I haven't even finished Ziggy's pizzas yet. Hey, not a pizza problem. Why make two when you can make three? Okay, uh... You take this pizza base, it's the most round, and start on Richie's pizza. I'll make a new pizza base for Ziggy's order. Black olives, not green. Okay. Oh, no, no. Uh, Richie wants exactly five olives, remember? Uh. <sighs> not quite round yet. <sighs> Four slices of tomato. Cut in half, remember? And on top of the peppers. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Finally done. Now all we have to do is wait. Yeah. <gasps> Dr. Panda! What's that smell? <gasps> Look! The oven was on too high! And now the pizzas are burnt! Ah. Oh. No worries. We'll quickly do them again. Uh, I have to make Richie's pizza again? Oh, boring. We'll never make it on time. It takes me ages to get the pizza bases perfectly round. Uh. Hey, what if you two switch roles? Bip, you could use your juggling skills for the pizza base. And, Alette, you're very precise. You could put the vegetables on the pizza exactly as Richie wants. If everybody does what they're good at, we'll be a lot quicker and have more fun at the same time. That is a great, great idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Somebody order a pizza? <gasps> but this pizza is all wrong. Oh, hang on. <laughs> ha! That's my pizza. Enjoy. We gotta go. Thanks. Bye. Hurry. Five, four, three, two, one. Too late. I get the pizzas for free. Huh? Nah, just kidding. You were right on time. Would you like a slice? I probably ordered more than I can eat. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ziggy. Oh, let me call Olette to join us. Mmm, that's a very tasty pizza. Mm. And on time. 
and perfectly round. And we made it together. <laughs> oh, you want to ride the bike? Well, that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. What, what are, you are you going, going to do today? today? Hi, everyone. Today, I'm a potter. What does a potter do? Well, I take clay and I turn it into dishes like this one. <laughs> wow. wow! I'm going to make lots more of these. And I... Whoa. 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 Phew. That was close, Toto. <laughs> Hi, Moo. Doctor Panther, hello. My plates and cups and bowls, the ones I ordered, are they ready? They certainly are, Moo. All handmade and totally unique. I want them to be different from what everyone else has. I'm sure you'll like them, Moo. I'll bring them around to the farm later. Oh, oh thank goodness. I need them more than ever now, Dr. Panda. See you later. <laughs> Bye, Moo. Hi, Dr. Panda. Oh, can I have a go at the wishy spinning wheel? Can I please? <laughs> sure. Let me show you how to do it. So, you get the wheel turning at a nice steady speed. Not too fast, not too slow. Not too fast, not too slow. Got it. You take your ball of clay and put it in the middle. There. In the middle there. Now, you start to shape the clay as it spins. Just use your fingers and don't forget to add a little water. Use your water and add little fingers. Whoa. <gasps> you made a bowl. Yep. Next, we have to bake it in the special pottery oven. Dr. Panda. Oh, Dr. Panda. Oh, I think I've got a customer. I'll be back in a bit. I have lots of things to make today. Sure thing, Dr. Panda! Lots of water, not too slow. Good morning, Richie. No, it's not a good morning at all. You see, I dropped my favorite blue mug. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's find you a new one. Uh, oh, what about this? No good, Dr. Panda. That's red. My lunch plate is blue, my dinner plate is blue, my breakfast bowl is blue, my water jug is... Let me guess. Blue? Richie, not everything has to match. You could get different colored things. Oh, that bowl is lovely. And I'd like to look at that jug too, please. No problem. How's it going, Dr. Panda? Great, but I really need to make some more dishes as soon as I've finished with these customers. Leave it to me, Dr. Panda. I've got the hang of it. Speed, water, plenty of fingers. Uh, okay, thanks. Hiya, Dr. P. I need a plate. A big plate. Well, you've come to the right place, Bip. Uh, who, that one. So sweet. Would you like to buy it, Bip? I have to test it first. Oh, uh, wh wh what do you mean, test it? Uh, I need to practice my juggling skills. <laughs> oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Do you have a vase to go with these? Uh... Uh... <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 oh. Ta-da! Done! Time to get these in the oven, Toto. Be careful, Bip. Being as careful as I can, Dr. Banda. Uh, don't you think that plate could break if you do that? Uh, oh, yeah. That's why I need a new one. Olette is right. I'll have an orange, no, green lunch plate. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, a red, no, a orange dinner plate. And a, um, uh, let me, uh, uh, uh. Excuse me, please. Hoopa! Hoopa! Can you bring some more dishes through? I'm running out. No problem, Dr. Panda. I just made a load of new ones. Oh, wait. They aren't ready yet. Any dishes in here? Yes! Coming, Dr. Panda! Phew, 
Oh, what a great day! We sold everything! Now all I need to do is deliver Moo's dishes to the farm. Uh, where are Moo's dishes, Hoopa? Oh, those dishes were for Moo? I didn't know. Wait, did you bring them through to the store? Yep! <gasps> oh, I think you might have sold them, Dr. Panda. Oh, no worries. We'll just have to make some more. Yeah, uh, we're also out of clay. But that's not a problem, because I made lots of new dishes. And they're done! Ta-da! So, what do you think? Um, I don't think this is what Moo was expecting. You don't? You don't like them? No, no, I, I, I do! <laughs> and you know what? I think Moo is going to love them too! This is a double egg holder, see? This bowl rocks, so it can't be tipped over. <laughs> That's so clever! And these plates are for odd-shaped foods, like, like carrots and bananas. I made that. And this one lets chickens eat corn more easily. It's perfect! Thank you, Hooper. Thank you, Dr. Pander. You were right. No one else has anything like this. Oh, that was a great idea you gave me with your toy cars, Toto. <laughs> oh, your car needs a repair, does it? <laughs> well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you, what are you going, going to do today? today? Hi, everyone. Here. Let me give you a hint. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. <laughs> Are you on the radio? Yes! Or I will be as soon as my radio show starts. When that light is on, everyone in Panda City can hear me on their radio. All I have to do is speak into this microphone and play music. <laughs> <laughs> That's for playing old records, Toto. But all the music we need is on this computer, right here. <laughs> Good thing the red light wasn't on, Toto, or everyone in Panda City would have heard your noises. <laughs> <sighs> here we go. You're listening to Music Mix with Dr. Panda, your favorite music from your favorite bear. It's a beautiful day in Panda City. It sure is. It's time to send in your requests. So if there's any song you'd like to hear, let me know and I'll play it for you. Hmm. Oh, I know just the one. To start us off, here's a song called Cutie Panda Beat by Justin Brown Bear. Now, there's a football game on the radio right after my show, Toto, so we have to finish in time. But until then, we'll play some nice music. Ah, at last. A job that doesn't involve lots of running around, huh, Toto? <laughs> oh. Hello? Hi, Dr. Panda. I heard you on the radio, and I was wondering can I request a song for someone, please? Great idea, Leo. What do you want me to play? You see, it's June's birthday today, and there's this song she loved when she was a little girl. It's called Fleece Oddity by a fella named David Bae. Okay. Are you sure you can find it? It's quite old. Even June doesn't have a copy anymore. Ah, uh, no worries. I have every song on my computer. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. I'm off to the store to buy June a present now. Bye, Dr. Panda. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Ah, lots of requests coming in, Toto. Let's play this one first. Here's a request from Moo and her chickens. This is Mad Bull with Get Clucky. <sighs> oh, no. The song Leo requested isn't on the computer. Uh, hey, yeah. maybe it's 
on one of the old records in the storage room. Uh, uh, that was great. Thanks, Moo. Next up, a uh, uh, song for Hoopa. This is the Rolling Bricks with Fill Me Up. <laughs> That was just in time, Toto. I have until the end of the song to find Leo's record. The record we need must be in here somewhere. Uh, nope, not here either. Hey, maybe Ziggy can help. Yeah, hello. Ziggy, uh, do you still have those boxes of old records in your garage? I think so. Great, I'll come over right after I put on a new song. You gotta build it up. Uh, 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 this next song is for Bip. It's Sam Simeon with Monkey on My Mind. Awesome. Oh, I have to be back before the song ends. Hey, if I listen to my show on my phone, I'll know exactly when the song's about to end. Oh! oh hi, Leo. I'm sorry, I, I haven't played your request yet. <sighs> I'm having a hard time finding a present for June. Mm -hmm. I'd love to help, Her but... Her taste is very particular, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Leo. I gotta go. Uh, hi, Ziggy. Are these the boxes? Yep, these are all the records I've got. Is this the one? Oh, yes, that's it. Oh, thank you, Ziggy. Great. I think we can make a deal. How about I play a request for you? Can you play me something by Piggy Pug? Sure, anything you like. <laughs> Whoa! Deal! <sighs> this next song is for Ziggy. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh, I found it, Toto. Tick tock. Oh no! My show is almost over. There's not enough time to play Leo's song for June. What do I do now? Hmm. That's all the songs I have time to play today, folks. But I have one last message for June. Oh. Come meet Leo and me in the park for a special birthday surprise. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Dr. Panda, I haven't found a present for June yet. I have nothing to give her. Ah, but you do, huh? <laughs> Hey, that's a great idea. Hi, you two. What's this all about, then? <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, I love this song. Thank you, Leo. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> run, run. Ooh, <laughs> I think I've done enough running for today, Toto. So that's an adventure for another day. Bye, everyone. Hi, Dr. Panda. What are you going to do today? Today, I'm going to help Moo with a big pile of laundry. <laughs> Will you be washing stinky things? Ugh. <laughs> Maybe. That's a funny noise, Toto. <laughs> oh, hi, Moo. Dr. Panda, please come now. Oh, Let and Ziggy's washing machine is broken, so we have to do their laundry, too. Oh, there is so much to do. No worries. We're on our way. Are you coming, Toto? Hi, Moo. We're ready to get to work. 
Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've never seen so many dirty clothes in all my life. No worries. We'll soon have it done. Good. I'll hang this laundry on the line while you put the next load into the washing machine. Great. This is the laundry soap. It makes everything clean and smell nice, but it's very powerful stuff. Only put in one capful per load. Remember, don't put in too much. I won't. Let's get this machine going, Toto. <laughs> It's supposed to do that. <laughs> and it's definitely not supposed to do that. I'd better call Hoopa. Hoopa! I think Moo's washing machine is broken! Hi, Dr. Panda. I'll come round to take a look. I'm right next door. I've just fixed June's fridge, so I've got my toolbox right here. Awesome! Thanks, Hoopa! Oh, boy! Oh, oh no! Oh, easy fix, Dr. Panda. All it needs is something heavy on top to stop it from moving. See? Mm. Oh, would that sack be heavy enough? I think so. Oh, Dr. Panda, help me get the dry laundry off the line, please, so we can hang up the new load. Sure. Hoopa, can you put that sack on top of the washing machine, please? Dr. Panda! Leave it to me. Yeah. Hmm. This load has just finished. I'll put the next load in for Dr. Panda. That'll help. Oh, put that in there. Lots of this in here. Hmm, I reckon I can make the machine go faster. That'd help speed things up. There, that'll do it. Let's not forget to add this. A little bit more, just to be sure. <laughs> All done. I gave the washing machine a bit of a boost, too, so it'll go faster now. You'll be finished in no time. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Hooper. Yeah, thanks, Hooper. Ah. What's that? I don't know. It sounds like a machine of some kind. It sounds like my washing machine. Uh, Hooper, did you remember to put that sack back on top? Uh, no. Well, don't just stand there. Go and fix it. I'm on it. <laughs> to turn it off! Ah! Oh, it's gone mad! You have to turn it off before it wrecks the place! <laughs> How much laundry soap did you put in, Hooper? Uh, enough? This is a disaster! No worries, Moo. I'll think of something. Well, you better. Otherwise, my whole farm is going to be covered in bubbles. I can't even see where the machine is. The bus. <laughs> oh, that's it, Toto. I've got an idea. You have? You have? Yep, thanks to Toto. Moo, have you got those swimming goggles from your vacation? Um, yes. Hoopa, can you hand me those hoses behind you? Yep. Whoa! 
Ancient boy! <laughs> I've cleared all the suds away. There. All done. I hope Ziggy and Olette get their washing machine fixed soon. I don't want to have to do all that again. Thanks for helping out. No worries. Uh, but hang on. Wh where's Toto? <laughs> oh, you want to play dress-up now, do you? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an adventure for another day. See you next time. Goodbye, Goodbye Dr. Panda. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>